Okay, we uh, took the oil off of it. Let's remove this thing right here. You can see the uh, molten aluminum down there. Alright, we're going to get this crap off the top here. Let's put it right there. Those are the uh, impurities. I guess I need a better spoon, but um, it was kind of just done from the hip. Okay. Now I don't uh, suggest any of y'all try this right here. This is extremely dangerous and hazardous and we're going to make famous aluminum muffins. Okay, we'll let that cool off. Well, this thing got extremely hot. I'll have to see how much uh, fuel I use to estimate the uh, KW that I burned over the past 30 minutes. Okay, well, we're going to let that cool off. Okay, this is my first attempt at using oil. I have done propane. You can see I, I guess I put a little too much oil in there. All right, we're going to burn that out of there. Okay, well that's the heart of the system. It's kind of hot right now. I need it to cool off to show you how it works. But uh, let, let's talk about this part of it right here. Some of y'all are going to recognize that as a Harbor Freight stock pot. And this is the top. I just cut out a circle in it. And I need to put some better handles on it. And I just put expanded metal around it and packed it in with um, the refractory, which is just... Um, sand out of my yard and some Portland cement and this thing is about four years old it's I guess it's held up pretty good I need to redo it but probably needs to be a little bit bigger or I need to cut down on the amount of fuel I'm sticking in the thing but uh, if you look down here these are my trivets that keeps it up off the bottom the crucible which that's my crucible right there it's just a stainless steel pot I got out of some thrift store for a buck this is just two by two box steel tubing and that just, like I said, just keeps it up off the ground. I got a couple pieces of that. Um, I originally, when I first started melting uh, metal or aluminum, I used that hair dryer and propane in this little torch setup right here, which I screwed right into that, which I'll show you that. And for propane, that melts aluminum great. But for oil, this, uh, that right there didn't give me enough air. I had that on hand and that gave me plenty of air. Now I'm thinking if I want to even increase my burn rate even more, I've got another one of these um, blower fan motors here. This is probably 1500 cubic feet per minute. It also has low, medium, and high speeds on it. I can also vary the speed too. So I've got that and if you look at this, this is just a propane tank. I've got the plug in it for right now, but you have to take that out or it won't it won't drain. And I'm guessing I used about a gallon in 30 minutes. I have to figure out what the KW is, but if you look, all I did was drill a quarter inch NPT right there with a closed nipple. That's a shutoff valve. I've got a hose barb fitting right here. I've got a hose clamp and that's some 3 8 fuel line which this vegetable oil is my fuel which I got from a relative that's actually from their Thanksgiving Day turkey that they fried and they asked me if I would take the oil I always put it out there that you know, if people don't want stuff I'll take it but uh, this has got a shut off valve here let, let, let me disconnect this and we'll uh, I'll show you how this was built right there 
Okay, I forgot to mention these legs right here. This is just a half inch EMT. And I put a little kick in it right here. And I kind of kind of stuck it in the ground so it doesn't teeter-totter over. But it's just, it's just welded on there at three points. Very simple. Okay, here's the heart of the system right here, the burner. Now, I did not come up with this on my own. This is off of Backyard Metal Casting. And I'll leave a link to his... Um, to his web page that he has and he has a diagram on there I don't know if it's on page 10 11 or whatever of um, oil burners but uh, what you see here is this is just a piece of two inch pipe right here threaded two inch trade size um, this is eighth inch right here which they didn't have this up at Home Depot I had to go to Bucks Plumbing a plumbing supply store and I've got this uh, reducer, it's eighth inch to quarter inch and what this was for was to feed propane in there and you heat it up and then it gets the oil burning and then it keeps on going but um, I, I never did use that all I did was feed it directly into this thing right here and what I used originally this is just one of these Harbor Freight weed burners and I just screwed it directly in there and this has the control to put how much propane I want in there. It's just a quick and dirty way to do it. But for the oil burner, I uh, like I said, this is an eighth inch nipple right here. I guess it's probably about two inches long. And I don't know if you can see in there or not. But you can see I've got a 90 in there. So that comes down, it turns, it goes straight down that pipe. Let's see if we can see it this way. And I've got another nipple I know this is going to be kind of hard for you all to see. And the oil just drips out and the, the air atomizes it. And uh, it, um, I guess it's not a fuel injector. I, I don't really don't know what it is, but it works pretty good if you have enough air to it. But if you don't have a welder, you can just drill that out and you can uh, just make it really tight and fit that in there. So that's, uh, like I said, an eighth inch nipple. This is a reducer from eighth inch to quarter inch that's a quarter inch piece of pipe I guess that's about three inches long then I have a shutoff valve here and I have the hose barb fitting and that's where the fuel hose fits on there so it's very simple this is a two inch to one inch reducer I also got that at the plumbing supply and this was a piece of one inch schedule 40 pipe that I had on hand and I put a lock nut here so it wouldn't back off so, like I said, if you go to this webpage, it shows you how to do it. Anyway, that's all, guys. So, I'm going to try some uh, metal casting projects here in the future. Homestead Prepper out. Boy, I almost forgot the most important part. These things are still a little bit warm to the touch. But, uh, a little porosity there. But that's all right. Get that cleaned out. You can always remelt it and refine it. Okay. Just want to show that to you.